And we are back. And we just finished watching 2024's The Idea of You, rated R with a runtime of one hour and 55 minutes. This is for streaming on Prime Video. This is the story of 40-year-old single mom, Celine, played by the lovely Anne Hathaway, who has a chance encounter with a 24-year-old member of a boy band called August Moon and how their... Well, the guy's name is Hayes. Hayes Campbell. The band's name is August Moon. Right. Oh my God! Isn't that what she said? It's uh, the way she said it. It sounded like the guy's name was August Moon. Oh, I meant that he was in the band called August Moon. He was in a boy band called August Moon. Okay, I lost my train of thought. And how their chance encounter leads into this blossoming, I guess, romance. This is by director Michael Showalter with writing credits to Robin Lee, Michael Showalter, Jennifer Westfield from a novel. I believe, hold on, by... Mike Wazowski. No, by Robin Lee. Easy girl. I'm just going to go around the table and get impressions. I thought this was fine. I think it brings up some interesting questions about... There's a really great line here from the friend. Tracy? I believe that's her, who says, people hate happy women. Yep. And that really resonated with me because as a society, we have pretty much indoctrinated women into this ideal to the point where we have this beauty industry, this gajillion dollar beauty industry that promises youth and beauty to whoever's willing to pay these steep prices. And yet we still devalue women because they don't fit into these little pigeonholes that are roles that are expected of them. In this film, there's a lot of vitriol when the story gets out that this pop star is dating this local art gallery owner who, who is in her 40s. 16 years older than he is. And 16 years older than he is, Campbell. And uh, it's interesting because most of it is very negative. Like, how dare you? And there's a comment about, oh, my daughter had a picture of him. She had the biggest crush on him. She's heartbroken. And she's heartbroken. And she just kind of looks at her. Yeah. So piece of crap. I thought from that vantage point, I, I really liked the story. I mean, this story is pretty much by the numbers. There's nothing spectacular about it other than Anne Hathaway looks fabulous. And she does not look 40. And she okay. does not look 40. I don't think, she, is she 40 in real life? I don't know. I but have no idea. All I know is that the only reason she didn't look 40 is because she looked like she'd be the male lead's age. She looked... She looked older than she him. She looked a little older than him, but not... It wasn't like a 40-year difference. She kind of looked like she was in her... Um, 30s. Right. She looked older than him, but not like egregiously so. I Like if somebody, if those two were standing next to each other, like I wouldn't say that there's like a 16 year difference between them. I'd probably yeah. say like three years. Yeah. I mean, the, the yeah. way people were uh, carrying the way on. people were carrying on, you think he was dating like Judy Dench. Yes, yeah. exactly. A 60 year old. Right. So. You know, thinking like he was dating Queen Elizabeth. Exactly. Exactly. And what and, was so bad about it? Maybe he well, was that's, into Well, cougars. okay, so we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about that. So I just want to preface this by saying that story-wise, it's pretty much by the numbers. It's pretty predictable. There is some pretty frocks in it, and Anna Hathaway is always a pleasure to watch. So from that, I really enjoyed it. But this is like a more polished Showtime film to me, or not Showtime, but like Hallmark Channel film. I guess I I think I, I mentioned this to you before. I was under the impression this was going to be like a romantic comedy, and I was disappointed, like extremely disappointed by the lack of comedy in it. <laughs> <laughs> so it, yeah, this is a straight up romance. I think I get the feeling that those Hallmark films try to be romantic comedies. Yes, for the most part, uh, to varying degrees of success. Usually not. They're just like really bad romance movies yeah yeah. so i i can agree with you that this was i mean this was definitely far more polished like this this looked like a movie Mm -hmm. lighting and sets and and stuff like that it didn't look like they just busted out an iphone and 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 recorded it it somebody's house when everybody was sleeping and her house was beautiful yeah everybody every place they went to was was kind of gorgeous yeah Yeah. so i'm gonna ask you girls i'm gonna start with you g you're on the hot seat. Okay. 
What did you think? What did you think about the relationship between Celine, 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 I think, Celine, uh, and strange. well, let's call her Soul. What do you think of the relationship between Soul and Hayes? There were two people who liked each other. Was there anything wrong with that? No. Did you understand why people were all upset about it? No. If you were Izzy, would you expect Solen to break her relationship? No. Stupid, stupid, stupid. God. Oh, oh, I like this boy at school. And he was like, tell your mom I turned 18. Like, okay. Hit him or something. You made your mom break up with someone that she was in love with because you were, like, getting your panties in and out over this stuff. Like... But uh, fair, but they were, at the same they were time, bothering her, and sure, they were saying weird stuff like, "Oh, get a picture of his whatever." I'd probably laugh at that, to be honest. I'd be like, "Yo, you're weird," and then just walk away. Were they like pushing her around and like beating her up? I didn't see anything like that. No, but it is social media, and social media can be very unkind, and that stuff follows you. I mean, that's the thing that's kind of interesting about growing up today. Like, I don't envy you kids, like. I envy the fact that you have easy access to technology and knowledge. I mean, your phone is basically a small computer, but the fact that everyone's life is documented the way it is and just how everybody lives under the microscope is got to be the most insane thing ever. Like the fact that in the beginning when they're escaping her art gallery, the steps to just get out are kind of ridiculous. And that's something that I guess somebody with some sort of celebrity has to face all the time. And from that side, that's pretty wild. And while I'm sure the money part of it is great, you also have the darker side of that. And I think that in this case, that was never going to go away because here these paparazzis are outside Soul's house and they're just snapping pictures of her ex-husband of her daughter who have nothing to do with this guy it's her in the relationship with him and yet her family is fair game and opens in its open season to take pictures invade their privacy have them sort of outed into the public eye and also become victims of basically online bullying so in that respect I understood why Soul did what she did even though it costs her a lot to do it but I think I like if I was in that position, I too would probably be like, this isn't going anywhere as much as it hurts me. You don't see that? I mean, I'm going from if you were Izzy, I wouldn't want my mom to break up with someone she was in love with. Okay, fair, fair. You and I recently saw Miller's Girl. Ugh. But here he's 24, so it's not as icky. Yeah, he's an adult. He's over the age of 21. Fair. I mean, she's technically an adult at 18. Yeah, but it's still gross because you were just a kid. A year ago, you were a kid. A year ago, what's-his-face was not a kid. No, fair. And in that case, he's the teacher and she's the student, and there should be a separation. Yeah, also, there was the dynamic teacher-student relationship. Right. But what makes... Well, tell me, in your opinion, what makes that ickier than this? Are you serious right now? Yes, I'm serious. Tell me. What makes a teacher having a relationship with a student more disgusting than an adult man and an adult woman having a relationship? I mean, they both sort of face the same vitriol, right? No. No, it's there's a difference. Okay. <laughs> well, tell me. What is the difference? The difference is that one is some disgusting old man preying on a young girl. <laughs> <laughs> Who's also weird. And then there's an adult man and an adult woman who meet by chance, who fall in love, who want to have a relationship. And yet they're the ones picked on by society. In Miller's Girl, he loses his job. But I don't see the entire internet coming after him and his family like, oh, oh, your underage daughter is hotter. Why isn't, she, why isn't Hayes going for it? That comment was disgusting. Thoughts? Oh, I mean, you G- didn't see G- the movie, G- but... G- oh, I, didn't, I didn't see Miller's Girl. But G's, G's correct. Uh, and plus, that relationship is, is practically illegal. Practically. I mean, yeah, she's te- oh, she's 18, but there's still this the whole, I'm in a position of power over you. Yeah, I can, like, ruin everything. And you. then on the other hand, he was the guy, Hayes, he's, he's 24. 
around that time, you your your brain's not really changing much after that. Mm -hmm. I mean, at twenty five, you're pretty much who you are. You, you'll change your opinions and stuff, but you're not a, in no way, shape, or form an adolescent or anything like that. Yeah, you're an adult. You you're an adult. You're you're capable of making. Actions. Yeah, totally capable of making responsible decisions. And she is forty. Completely capable of making her own decisions. Mm -hmm. The only thing that's the, the really the the only thing that's like separating them is or or that's that's like a problem is the fact that he's famous and he has a huge bunch of fan base that includes a lot of young people or little girls and stuff and 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 the parents of the kids. Oh God, that's that, that's disgusting. Put yourself in that spot. You ain't pushing that away. Right. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Oh well, well, how terrible for him. <laughs> Oh my God, he's he's kissing Anne Hathaway. Oh, oh she's my, so grotesque. Good Lord, <laughs> her, her 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 like an oh, Harold and Maud, her sagging, withered flesh commingling. <laughs> no, there's no sagging, Anne withered flesh. A baddie. She is a baddie. Everyone should have been yeah. congratulating him. Yeah, she's she's gorgeous in this. Yeah. Uh, he's the lucky one. Yeah. And like what? What did he did he look ex exceptionally young or something? No, he looked like a twenty four year old man. Yeah, that's why you say a twenty four year old man because he's fully grown. <laughs> it's not like as though in like he's like I'm still getting pimples and, and my voice is changing. No, he's <laughs> he's a grown man. He's got a driver's license and, and a house and several all, houses. All that probably. crap. Yeah. All meanwhile, of meanwhile, whatever that along with Bilbo and Wednesday, uh, <laughs> she just, she's living with her parents. No, her parents are somewhere else. She's living alone in that house. Even all worse. right, I didn't see the movie, but yeah. but uh, anyway, she's she's in high school though, right? Yes, she's so a high senior. school high school student. Generally, high school kids live with their parents. Yeah, that so, movie was weird. Yeah, I still, I'm still I'm still processing. Just kind of yeah, I'm still processing picture. it. Yeah, so the, there's a big difference between uh, Soul, Soul and Hayes. Jenna Ortega should feel ashamed for ever even being a part yeah. of that movie or stepping I, on I, that I didn't watch it, and I, but I, I did hear her uh, southern drawl, and uh, I think she should be ashamed for that. <laughs> <laughs> she I picked mean, up on it. She said it, she would go in and out, yes, which was distracting. It faded, it faded in and out of existence. Yeah. Sometimes she was Jenna Ortega, and other times she was Cairo southern. sweet. Jenna Ortega. Southern Jenna Ortega, yeah. Okay. Jenna yeah. Ortega from yeah. Tennessee. Well, like I said, it, uh, there's definitely some work needed to be. She, she's definitely no English actor. No, no. Those English actors get them Southern accents down. Yeah. 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 Olive G, what did you think of the film? Did it make you uncomfortable? Nah. No? Did you hate it? No. You didn't hate it. Okay. Did you like uh, it? I, yeah, it was good. Yeah. What did you like about it? Did you think Soul was a baddie? Yeah, she was. She, yeah. She is beautiful. She is beautiful. What about uh, the her clothes? She had I'll, a good fashion I, sense. I don't, I don't really care about her fashion sense. No? Really? No. I thought she had some decent. Olivia, Olivia. <laughs> Olivia has a crush on the man. Shut up! <laughs> what? <laughs> Ignore what she said. Anyway. She has a crush on the male lead? Is that no! Oh. Yeah. No! <laughs> Grace, I, I mean, literally need you to shut up right now. I mean, okay. he's handsome. I need you to shut your trap. <laughs> I mean, he's handsome. I mean, there's nothing I wrong with that. I do not care. I, I, couldn't, I couldn't care if that guy died in front of me right now. All right. Okay. I... I don't care about that guy. Okay. All okay. right. Keep it Move moving. Move on. All right. Keep it moving. What did you think of the... The backlash that Soul and Hayes encountered in the in the film. Do you think it was justified? Do you think like, it was honestly, unfair? Honestly, it was kind of dumb. Like, hella you dumb. Know, like in the middle, this girl like that. That was like unacceptable. But like they weren't getting, like it was like the same thing, and they weren't getting targeted. It was worse. Right. So also, also like the thing was that he wanted to be in the relationship, not her. I mean, he she definitely still, was more. Yeah, but she, she still liked him. Yeah, she did. it's not, it's not like was, she was unwilling. No, no. Yeah, but no. I think in the beginning, he was definitely the more aggressive pursuer. Yeah, he, yeah. he wanted her bad. He wanted that cougar. He wanted that cougar. He was raising her up. Yeah, <laughs> he was the rizzler. What? Calm down. <laughs> what about? 
<laughs> what do we think? What do you think about Izzy? Ology. Um, do you think that Soul's actions, because of what Izzy was going through, made sense? Do you think that her mother making that sacrifice of, of ending her relationship with Hayes made sense in order to protect Izzy? Yeah, I mean, I mean it kind of made sense, but it was like super unfair because, you know, like, you know, it's like, just suck it up, you, you whiny little baby, and just <laughs> shut the hell up. It just. Okay, like seriously, like it, it, they're, they're not even physically harming you, okay? You know, you know, like who cares if they take your picture, okay? It's fine. You're like who ca- Who the hell cares? Suck it up and stop being a baby. But I think that the the thing is that because of social media, there's so much negative energy. Who and, cares? Like, she, but, you shouldn't. You should. Just silence the haters, okay? But who the hell cares about someone else's stupid opinion, okay? She had zero aura. Yeah, she had zero (laughs) aura whatsoever. Understood, but you also have to think of it this way. The things that... the, The way we live now is not the way we lived when your dad and I were younger people or even in our teenage years. Okay, and... So I think that... It's different now, and I think that unfortunately, social media and all that 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 entails, commenting on things like this, really prolongs situations. So therefore, even though Soul and Hayes had a relationship, they were always going to be followed by paparazzi. They were always going to be hounded down by fans. They were always going to be in these in this eye of the storm. There was always going to be very, very, very negative headlines about them. And at some point, that starts to wear at your soul. You can't constantly be inundated with all this negativity and all this hate and all this vitriol and not have it affect you. And Get I think a therapist, that, okay? Okay, Who fair, cares? but understood, but... As a parent, if this was, if I was soul and I was in this position, I too, like I understood that very, very much. The scene where he comes into the car and they have that very short exchange and he basically says, so you're not even going to fight for us. Like that, I felt that and I felt very, very bad for the both of them because you could tell that she still loved him and he desperately loved her. And it wasn't just some passing fancy. It was genuine true love and it was over time and it built from this chance encounter and it's yeah, it, interesting it definitely felt like an earned romance it did it, it was, did it wasn't, it wasn't just, yeah i mean the attraction was initially there yes and it was always but there. over time you saw it was like all right well the attraction got them together mm-hmm. now the true i guess emotions are coming out right between the two of them so yeah so that felt earned yeah and i think that unfortunately sometimes people get caught up in these things and you can say like suck it up and whatever but until you're in that position it's it's really hard to understand it i also want to talk about the ex-husband daniel what do we think about daniel Daniel was annoying as hell. he should have shut the hell up he should have killed himself I don't know about that. Get That's kinda... a life, okay? Just get a life, yeah, Daniel. No one cares. You anyway. complete waste of oxygen. <laughs> when Go Daniel... to hell. No one cares about you, you cheating bastard. <laughs> when yeah, no he... one likes Even you. Even the woman he cheated on his wife with last yeah, she... was like, she was she done like, with him. Nah, and she wanted man, to continue like a guy... relationship with Soul, which I thought was hilarious. Yeah, yeah. Um, that was pretty funny. When, yeah, like, when... Nah, nah, Dan, Daniel's just not it. When Daniel comes to Soul's house at the end, like towards the end, and they have that very angry exchange, what did you think? Daniel should shut the hell up. Okay, no one cares about you, Daniel. You know, you, you're not him. You're not him, Daniel. You have zero aura, okay? No one cares about you, Daniel. That, not to, uh, uh, to mention that she is not your wife. You should not, like, literally shut the hell up, Daniel. You should not be giving her relationship advice after you cheated on her, okay? It's not like she's even in a relationship. Like, Daniel, shut the hell up, okay? No one cares about your thoughts, feelings, or opinion on this matter, okay? Literally, no one cares. Agreed. What about you, Jay? What did you think of the Daniel character? Basically everything Olivia said. I feel like I can't really come up with anything new. 
She already said it. It was very hypocritical of him to. I I think Daniel was like he was like relishing it because it was like ah, I got the high ground finally. Yeah. Now I'm not the bad guy anymore. Right. Even in the eyes of the world, he's the probably on the internet. They were like, oh, she. she she divorced her husband to to be with Hayes to be with the young buck. Are you kidding me? That the was young three buck. years ago. Get <laughs> over it, Daniel. You need to shut the hell up and get a life, okay? So, so, Find some so, hoes, okay? Go to some, some clubs, hoes? okay? Boats and hoes. <laughs> Find some. Find some hoes. Oh. Seriously, <laughs> I, I seriously need you to get a life, Daniel. Or or. Or just go to hell. Just, or just kill yourself, okay? <laughs> easy. Easy. He's still Izzy's dad. No one cares about Daniel. All right. Okay? All right. Fair. Okay. Fair. Daniel is not like... Uh, yeah, yeah. I, don't, I don't like Daniel either. But, yeah. But anyway... <laughs> I have pure, nothing but a, pure hatred for Daniel. Yeah. Okay? The name in and of itself <laughs> makes me angry as hell. Just Daniel... Who do we hate more? Wait a minute. Bastard. Who do we hate more? Daniel or Conrad? (sighs) Don't get me started on Conrad. Conrad (laughs) is a piece of crap. He has no future whatsoever. He deserves to burn in hell. But girls like boys with no future. I don't care. That man, the borderline border hopper, someone send it back to his country. All right, all right. You're making the microphone go to red. She's yeah. brother yeah. hop, and Conrad's not the brother hopper. It's Belly. Uh, I yes. know, I know, but he still makes me so good. He knew, he knew, and he still right, well, kissed her. I'm, I'm oh gonna, my god! Yeah, lower her a little. I'm monitor this, the levels on this kid. Wow. Yeah. You were red line in there. Yeah. That man makes me oh. so angry. I swear to God, he makes me so Keep goddamn it lower. angry. <laughs> All right, all right. Just, all right. Just lower your voice. On one hand, Daniel is cheating. Uh, cheater, cheating, hypocritical. Bastard. He's a bastard, and he's just, like, insufferable. Conrad is also insufferable. He steals his brother his brother's girl twice, Drug by addicts. the way. He's just annoying. I don't know. That might go under insufferable, but I'm counting that as another mark against him. He's whiny, which is another Bro has zero aura whatsoever. He's he's got negative aura. He wants to be the alpha with the dark heart. Yeah. He's trying so hard to be like edgy and stuff. When's the Kendrick Lamar diss track coming out for Conrad? Should be coming out soon. Yeah. He's working overtime, KL. Gotta fight. Gotta keep these young bloods in line. Exactly. Exactly. Getting back to the idea of you. To the ladies at the table. I don't know if this might be too, this may be down the line. Maybe you guys are too young for this. But the idea of people hate happy women. What do we think about that? Uh, Honestly, I I feel like people just hate people who are happy because they're jealous. They want to be them because they're not happy. They're pathetic losers. Especially on the internet. Especially on the internet. Yeah, The internet is not the internet unless somebody's complaining. Yeah, Yeah, I feel like... Perfectly said. I feel like on top of, like Olivia said, it's just people hate happy people. Although women are like... Especially women. Yeah. I guess because like there's misogyny and stuff. Maybe that is there, people to hate more and more. And like it's that. unfortunate well, you know because I, also women get caught up in that attacking other women, which is disgusting. Yeah. It, it is unfortunate. It is unfortunate. Well, gener- you, generally, when you're you're happy, uh, it's a sign of you being successful. Mm-hmm. And a lot of guys don't can't stand seeing a, a woman succeed where they probably aren't. Yeah. yeah. So that churns up a lot of hate, and then. People are people. Women are going to chime in. Men are going to chime in. And the internet, it exposes you to a world of people that you would never have met at any other way of your life. Right. And now it's sort of, it's like the equivalent of them standing outside your window and screaming inside, just going, you suck. Like all day, every day. Yeah. I mean, not to veer off topic, but to you, we watched Kramer versus Kramer a little bit earlier which is about which is kind of an interesting story because it's about a marriage that ultimately ends and the aftermath and how that affects the family which includes a young son who's kind of trapped or caught in the middle of this 
fight between these two parents who are ending their marriage. And uh, like the messaging there is kind of interesting because the Meryl Streep character, the Joanna character, she's at the beginning of the film, she's going through a crisis and she needs help. And her husband, Ted, hasn't been there for her. So she removes herself from the family, which forces Ted to now do double duty as a parent and as the provider. And like he says in the court trial, he's not perfect, but he's made a home for him and his son. And it's lovely to see their progression of their relationship. It's very rocky in the beginning because the boy is very resistant to his father because he's been raised by his mother for the most part. But at the end, they kind of come to a resolution. And this movie just came out, so we're not going to spoil the ending. But the ending here is somewhat hopeful. Do you... I'm going to ask you guys individually about this, but kind of to veer off topic, do you see that a lot in your in stories that you read that women in a way can have it all? There's this myth about women having it all, having great careers and having great personal lives. We talk about work-life balance. Do you think that's attainable? G. Probably. What makes you say that? Like having a good career and having a good family? Yeah. <laughs> Why do you think uh, it's it's something that's possible? I don't know. It just doesn't seem like impossible. There's no there's no right or wrong here. Just from things that you've read and movies that you've seen, do you think it is it is possible for a woman to be happy and successful in her personal life and professional life? Yeah. What about you, Olive G? Do you think a woman can have it all? Do you think she can have the fairy tale and the great career? and have the love and respect of her peers and her community? I don't know. I guess. Yeah? Why do you guess? I don't know. Horrible answer. Why not? Yeah, why not, Mommy? All right. No, I'm just... Like I said to G, there's no right or wrong here. I'm just... I'm I'm glad that they feel why not, because it should be why not. Not, right. You know? Exactly. You know? You know? You know? (laughs) God damn it. Why do I keep saying that? (laughs) Everybody does. You're not the only one. Okay, fair. Let's move it along. So we have the young man, Hayes Campbell. Any thoughts? I'm going to start with you, G. Any thoughts about young Hayes Campbell? What should I be thinking? I don't know. You tell me. From what you saw, do you think he was genuine? Do you think he really loved soul? Do you think he deserved soul? I think he really loved her. You think he really loved her? Yeah. Why do you think he loved her? Because the end. He goes well, back you, you, after you, even before. Well, you said you were going to spoil it. Oh, sorry. And yeah, you, come you, on, you, man. You spoiled it. But like, like even during the relationship, right? I mean, the the things that he was telling her, and the reason why he liked her, or the reason why he was like drawn to her, was because uh, why? <laughs> I'm testing you. <laughs> <laughs> I told you kids there was going to be a test on this movie later. Um, I could like feel the answer. I just don't remember it, to be honest. Like, I just remembered it, but I just forgot it. Because she didn't really know who the hell he was. She, yeah. she was he, he, she, he was nothing to her, really. Oh, uh, yeah, that's why he's like, um... Yeah. Don't say my full name. I'm so edgy. Yeah. Yeah. There you go, because... Th- I'm the that- Sigma Alpha Wolf. <laughs> No, it wasn't anything about being a Sigma Alpha Wolf or anything. I think it was it was just it, he in that world that he lived in. He was surround like he, he doesn't know who genuinely likes him for being Hayes or who is just some sycophant of Hayes Campbell, Campbell and a- Amber Moon. Moon or whatever the hell that group is. August Moon, not Amber August, Moon. August Amber. Moon. That sounds like a beer. Yeah. So yeah, that's that's why it. He seemed like more genuine. Yeah. Well, he, he wasn't like some like, hey, I'm out. I'm, look at her. I'm gonna I'm gonna bag the hot mom and and then uh, oh suddenly for some reason wait a minute she said something and now I'm in love. No, he he genuinely liked her from the get go because yeah. she was just like, would you hurry up? I got to take a, take a piss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was funny. He was in love with her from the moment the pee hit the toilet water. <laughs> Olive G. <laughs> Very romantic. Um, Was that Shakespeare? In the beginning, <laughs> I thought I liked the Ollie character, but then I didn't, especially that scene in the pool. 
Who the hell is the Ollie character? <laughs> the Ollie character Isn't was a black guy. Yeah, yeah. the lights oh, right. The douchebag friend. Yeah, the douchebag friend. I honestly singer. couldn't care about Ollie. <laughs> now he pissed me off. Yeah, he pissed me off in that scene because that whole that whole scene, like right after you were like, "Why did they do that?" or whatever. I think it was pretty obvious. No, 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 no. You were like, do you think, I don't think they meant it that way. Do you but think that was intentional? Really yes. You, you really think? What about yes. you? You thought that was an intentional? I, I thought that was. I thought that he was. was so I thought he was. He was really relishing the the fact that he could hold this over Hayes, kind of. Not not hold it over, but to just do something mean and trollish. It's it's like what we we're saying with people on the internet. Some people just they thrive on being dicks. Uh, that 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 struck me as what Ollie was doing there, and it's sort of like things just sort of like led into that and enabled him to be like, oh yeah, well he wasn't dedicated. That's a bit we do. Yeah, that was just you don't have to say, say that. that. You right. did not have to say that, and you did not have to have all the little girls like, oh my god, I can't believe you believe that. Yeah, and they were not nice either. Yeah, no, they're like, oh my god, is this a funeral? Like. She's yeah. wearing a cover-up. That's a normal Shut thing that people up. wear to the pool. I didn't understand why she covered herself up like that. She saw she's them. She's gorgeous. She is, but she saw them and she's like, oh, I'm like, I look like old compared to them or something. Completely unnecessary worry because she was more beautiful than all of them combined. It's crazy how women tear other women down. That's crazy. Olive G, what did you think of the Hayes Campbell character? Okay, okay. I, I have a super big opinion on him. Okay, <laughs> tell me. Lay it on me, sis. Okay, I'll just remind you there are spoilers in my opinion. Okay. All right, we'll mind. cut them out if we need to. Okay, so so I thought young Hayes Campbell, he had hella aura, okay? He was great, okay? He's like, he was like, he was trying to get with her so badly. Like, he was down bad for her. And like, he was great, okay? You know, he actually fought for the relationship and stuff like that. And then the other Hayes Campbell, the older one, zero aura whatsoever, okay? He lost it. He he lost it like Lightning, Lightning McQueen, okay? He completely lost really? his aura. He fumbled the bag. Yeah. Wait, wait, what are we talking about again? I'm just like, I don't Hayes remember. aura. I mean, Hayes, <laughs> Hayes, Hayes aura. aura. Hayes Campbell from five years ago was like the bomb diggity, but. The Hayes, bomb diggity. Yeah. <laughs> yeah That's what a, my generation yeah, says. He was a bee's knees. A <laughs> bee's knees. The cat's but then the Hayes Campbell from five years later is not. Yeah, he has he, no riz. He, 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 he kind of like lost his aura. Like, what the hell are you talking <laughs> about? This is the worst take I've ever heard. <laughs> In my opinion, it felt like he completely lost his aura. Like, he, why? Because his like, hair was different? No, no, no. <laughs> it's because he looked like. He, in my honest opinion. He looked like a divorced father. <laughs> okay. No, he didn't. In, in my opinion, okay? He looked like a guy who had just been divorced, okay? <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. I mean, he didn't look he much exactly different other, like other than the facial hair. That yeah, spe- he, that spiel yeah, is like negative he, he 90 looked, aura he looked, points. He looked, he, had, he looked like he was like an absolute wreck. He had like more like facial hair. hair mousse and he had like a, a little bit of facial hair on his chin. Listen. <laughs> He was clearly better in the future because he waited this whole time for her. That's like plus a billion points. <laughs> a billion do you points think, a lot. <laughs> Aura, obviously, you, do you think? Uh, do you think Soul had any idea he was talking about her in that interview? She had to have. I don't know. I want to see someone I feel in like LA. she thought that he had moved on. No. Hell no. No. Who you was- don't think that she thought that he moved on? No. When she's sitting in her office... Oh my god. Yeah, she, 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 she like, oh, the, the door opened. <laughs> yeah, she sensed it. She but sensed I don't it with think, her heart. I don't think wow. she expected him. She was hoping real hard. She was hoping yeah. real hard, she, she was, but I don't think she, she was expecting she was, she him. She wasn't trying to get her she wasn't trying to get her hopes up. Mm-hmm. But she was definitely hoping that this dude would just show up. I don't think uh, but I don't think that he I don't think that she was expecting him and I think that okay so I guess we're going to spoil this a little bit but <laughs> when she has the conversation with him and she basically says this is it if you find happiness go for it and I'm going to try and do the same uh-huh. she basically has written him off and doesn't assume that she'll ever see him again other than on the internet and in interviews so when he's doing that interview i don't think that she thinks that he's talking about her and i think that she looks at him wistfully hoping that 
she would be the one but in her heart of hearts doesn't believe that he is talking about her so that when the next scene happens it's like a flip right but i think that she basically wrote him off she doesn't expect him to ever come back i think when she said if you find happiness go for it yeah she was kind of writing him off but then you have the whole five years later and Mm -hmm. interview watching an interview she's like clearly not like immediately like oh my god he's he's talking about me no it's she's clearly keeping her expectations low Mm -hmm. and moving on with her day okay if it happens it happens if it doesn't it does but you could see she really hopes that it does happen i think so i think part of her like her ears are perked up and she's definitely more in tune to her surroundings and when she comes out and whatever happens happens i think it's definitely what she has secretly wanted and waited for but maybe has not dared hope to happen to not get her heart broken because I think another really interesting thing about this story is how in the beginning when they're finding out about each other when they're asking each other those questions the thing that comes out immediately is how guarded they are that these past hurts have impacted their lives so much that they operate from a different place now right Mm -hmm. they kind of to your comment before the love is earned it's not just given freely you have to earn that love you have Mm -hmm. to earn that love from soul you have to earn that love from Hayes because Mm -hmm. even Hayes is guarded because because of a celebrity because of the celebrity right like you mentioned before he doesn't know does this woman like me for me or does she like me because I'm Hayes Campbell from August Moon yeah so that part of it was interesting that that part of the story they don't delve too much into the other side characters other than maybe izzy and daniel which is fine because i think the main focus should have been soul and Hayes. i hate that name Hayes campbell i hate it so much but it sounds like a it sounds like some kind of like like a piece of farm equipment i don't even know if it's Got the Hayes campbell out in the back 40 <laughs> you know i'm thinking of uh fancy pants office furniture this is a Hayes Campbell chair. Yeah, that could work too. Yeah. It sounds like a brand name. Yes, it does. It does. Yeah. It's not a person's name. It not sounds a person, like a brand. It sounds like a brand name. Yeah. Which yeah. in some respects, some of these boy bands, they're, they're basically commodities, right? So it's- Yeah, it they're, they're all generated. I mean, yeah. they all have stupid names. So yeah. that's interesting too. I'm going to go around the table, I guess, and get numbers. I'm going to start. It was a decent script. It wasn't anything- overly spectacular or out of this world i think the story does bring up a lot of questions that are interesting to ponder about celebrity the cult of celebrity how we treat women what the expectations are that we place on women why do people have such a vested interest in other people's lives how women view themselves how they think about their sexuality how they think about their attractiveness i I think there's a lot that gets addressed here it's not obviously a movie about those things but touches on it touches on them and it's kind of interesting to see it on the screen again i think it would have been maybe not in the realm of reality but i'd love to see a film where as much as i love anne hathaway show me somebody who looks more like a normal 40 year old soccer mom kind of yeah that's my only ding on this film i think that again i adore anne hathaway i've loved her since those little princess diary movies and it's kind of fun to have watched her grow up barely (laughs) barely yeah she looks she looks she's got one of those like anna kendrick jeans in her yeah never grows old yeah so but still i mean i think uh she gave a fantastic performance here it was completely believable she has this great ability to do that whole glassy eyed almost tears falling thing that i really find remarkable i really liked her character i really felt for her in her up and down relationship with this young man i was rooting for her for the whole time i think she looked fabulous i totally understand why this young man is smitten with her and it's nice to see the vantage point of an older woman who in some people's eyes is past her prime but to see her kind of reclaim herself here is also fantastic i think if i was going to give this film a number from one to ten i think i'd give it a six and a half i think it's a six and a half what about you we'll go with you first 
Can I get my number next? Go ahead. Meow. <laughs> I forgot the movie we just watched for a second. I remember it now. I'll give it like a six. It made me kind of mad, to be honest. Why? I didn't like her daughter that much, and I didn't like her ex-husband, and I didn't like the band that he was in, especially Ollie. Yeah. Well, you're not supposed to like the the husband well, yeah, or cause, I guess Ollie because so they ma- so they made me angry. So yeah, just a six. Yeah. Okay. What did you think about the romance in the story? It was earned. It was earned. Yeah. Did you like Soul and Hayes together? Yeah. Yeah. Why? Because they were they were nice together. They were nice together. What about you, Olive G? Once a time, give me a number. You know what I just realized? What? I got my opinion on his all wrong. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Tell you me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nephew. Wait, 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 when he was younger, he, he had a lot of aura, but he was afraid of losing that aura, okay? Because remember when, when he's talking about that kid's 10th birthday party and how, like, he was scared because he'd like lose it, lose his aura, you know, like that. <laughs> Never mention the. Okay, for for us old Gen Xers, <laughs> what the hell is this aura stuff you're talking about? It's like, it's it's like the the way you smell or like when when you're your aroma. So- <laughs> no. no, no, no. It's like. It's when you smell hella good or like... How can you tell? If you're on Ox, some, like, people are scared. And like, oh my God, what's he going to play? But they're also intrigued. If you're on Ox? Yeah. What is what that What the mean? hell does that mean? <laughs> yeah. Like in the, in the car, you play music. <laughs> what? what is... You what mean is, okay? Wait, 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 wait a minute. Here. Like, like ox, like a u x. Yes. Okay. I'm, I'm thinking. Ox. I'm thinking like a ox. giant bovine yeah, animal that carries a cart. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was a <laughs> So when you're on a u x, it's how you smell when you're on the radio. <laughs> no, they're two different things. It's when you smell or when you're playing music. What so, the hell does that mean? <laughs> what is going on? Is that even English? What is when going you're, on? Wait, when you turn, like... You guys just kind of have to know. You guys don't know Well, anything. explain yeah. it to us. I well, mean, all right, all right. It's like trying to you're, explain... You're, you're, you're saying that, that Hayes had good aura. Yes. Decent aura. When he was younger, yeah, it was like, okay. But obviously, when he's older, he gets like a billion extra yeah. points. Yeah. But the thing is, when he was he younger, he's afraid her. of losing his aura, just like Lightning McQueen. All right, Olivia, chill out. I uh, thought aura was like Riz... <laughs> No. I mean, no. I don't know. You just have to understand the meaning. Okay, I think you should, like, delete all of this. This is fascinating stuff. Yeah. Yeah, this is the stuff that <laughs> yeah. we're going this for. This is what people are tuning in for. All right, so back to you, Olive. I, I still, I, I'm going to have to do a little more research about what all this means, but <laughs> what you were saying, you thought that the story of him being brought to the 10 year old's party because yeah. they wanted pictures with him. That was him being afraid of losing his aura. Yes. So, okay. so like, he, yeah, he was, afraid, he was afraid of losing his aura. Oh, okay. Well, he said so he how, didn't want to be seen as a joke. Yeah. He didn't want to be seen as a joke. Yeah, okay. he was afraid of losing it. He was afraid of losing his aura. Okay. Well, uh, that could make sense because uh, in my mind, aura is like just a person's presence, I guess. Mm-hmm. But then you said when he was older, he lost it all because he looked like a divorced dad. No, no, no. I got that part wrong. Oh. He d- he's, in my eyes, he still does look like a divorced father, but he ha- still has his aura. Okay. So Is it greater than or less than? It's probably greater than before he had like a okay. small teeny weeny amount of aura. You know, like it, it, it wasn't as big as it was when he was older. Because like when oh, you're okay. older, you get like a crap ton of aura. Because he has like life experience and yes. aura. Yes. Okay. What what would you rate this movie? Um, hey Johnny with the hoodie, <laughs> stop. Uh, I probably rate this like a six and a half. Like it was a mid. Okay. I said six and a half, right? And, six and a half. Six and and she said six. six. What did you say? Yeah, I would probably say six and a half. I I'd even go seven. I don't like. Yeah, seven. I don't like half numbers. All right. You I know what? I, I'm gonna go I, seven two I, only I, because I, you know what? I just thought of another line in this film where he goes to her house and he says how he went he 
audition for the boy band at 14 and the line after that really spoke to me where he said it shouldn't have to ruin a life yeah i think it had the the, the film in, in my mind because i tried to not say much but it had a good story and the the like i said the relationship felt earned earned I mean, there was they or they played it more accurately. It wasn't one of those annoying love at first sight bullcrap movies. They meet, they gen, they have a uh, instant attraction, instant attraction, a physical attraction. They don't know squat about each other, but it's just like, ah, oh, she's good looking, and she's like, yeah, he's good looking. Boom. Okay, there's the setup. He obviously uses his influence and whatever to get to know her better and take her out and buy the entire art gallery of stuff he's doing his best to take her out and then as things progress you see things as they talk to each other as they converse you see that that there's something more there uh they each uh they each seem to be answering uh, something that the other one needs or answering a need that that is in the 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 other mm -hmm. And that, that made sense. And then when you come to the drama bit, because there's always got to be some drama, it wasn't some just ridiculous nonsense. It uh, made sense. It made, it made a lot of sense. Were the decisions made make sense too? Like the her soul's decisions? The decisions made sense. Uh, and like, as far as like the, the daughter goes, I, I found it, that also rang true to me because mm -hmm. in the beginning, like there was like that whole bit where after the whole pool party debacle, and that seems they're split up, like they get back together. And the he int they introduced the family, and she's there with her friends. And they're like, oh, so we're all good with this? And they're like, yeah, we're good with this. Hey, you live your best life and do whatever you got to do. And then reality sets in, mm -hmm. and it just becomes a complete disaster. Mm -hmm. And it's not just people saying mean things about her mom, but like you said, you know, it's social media piling up, and everybody's reading all this stuff, and everybody's making all these prejudgments. And, and then you have all these people just infringing on your personal well, life because they're that, outside uh, that, taking that, pictures. There's that too, but the more important thing is, as far as the relationship with with the with the daughter, why it was crushing for the daughter was because she's a a, a kid girl. in school, yeah, and just like things are. I mean, th you're in high school. Your emotions are going crazy. You think everything is is the most important. You think everybody's staring at you. You get a, a pimple on your cheek, and it's just like, oh my god, everybody's staring at it and thinking about it right now. And that's all they're talking about at school. I know it. I know it. I know it. And it's just like nobody gives a crap. They're worried about their own goddamn pimples. Mm -hmm. And that's what being young is. You're just super hyper emotional. So. Yeah, you can go into therapy, I guess, as Olive suggested. <laughs> or or try and get over it, but you're a kid. You're just you're not gonna do it. Yeah. You're gonna be you're just a wash in like fresh, full pumping hormones coming out of your brain telling you to be as crazy as possible and irrational as possible. Yeah. There's a reason why you and I aren't the ones screaming on this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, the, the hormone producers in our brain they're all dried up they're just like licking their dried lips and trying to spit some hormones into us to get emotions out of us but it's over yeah. we're we're, <laughs> we're done we're over the halfway mark yeah, we're over that uh so that made sense to me and uh then you have like i said the the douchebag husband who in the beginning is clearly in kind of uh, obsequious in his desire to get her to forgive him oh come come have dinner with us pickleball yeah we'll play pickleball it's great she'll teach you how to play pickleball the the woman i cheated on you with he got so insufferable with it he was like constantly being like oh ava's really good oh ava yeah. could cook really good yeah because Shut up. because he's coming from this position of weakness and as as far as like the the morality of their relationship one he was the cheater mm. But then suddenly it's just like, oh wow, look at this. Mm -hmm. She's a cougar chasing some young dude. She's she's after that, do you that think, fresh meat. Do you think he genuinely felt that? Or do you think some of it was see, I agree with that, but I also think some of it was jealousy. I think he was jealous that his relationship with Eva ended for whatever reason obviously he's not a good man so to see kind of to see her happy 
to well, see. Well, there's there's that Soul too. Happy. Yeah, when, you, like without the, him, like the whole thing. Yeah, without egg, him, egg, exactly. I mean, for him, it's not just some random woman hate on the internet how dare she be successful mm. for him it's more personal it's like right. she's being happy and successful without me how what that how dare bitch? she yeah and then on to, then, to then the on house, top of that he's... then on top of that he's also now the hero and look oh i'll protect our my daughter wants to come stay with us with me now because you're Horish ways have just made her life a living hell. Right, right. He's loving it. He yeah. is. He he could act outraged as much as he wants, Once. but he he loves it. Some people. I mean, that's that's how it is on the internet. These people acting all outraged, but if they weren't outraged, they wouldn't have anything to do. Their lives exactly. would be empty and and just meaningless. Meaningless. They'd be watching daytime TV or something. So what they all, should be watching is Golden Girl reruns. That's what they'd be doing. That's what they should be doing. They should be. They would be happier. Yeah. But that worked. None of the other characters were the, were being stupid or saying st there wasn't there wasn't like the sassy assistant or anything like that. Uh, but that falls into the whole thing of what I said. It wasn't a romantic comedy. It no, was just no. A, it was just a romance. It was. It was. It so was. I thought I thought it all I thought it all worked. So yeah, I'll I'll give it a seven. It was it was, it was you know good. What? It's not my, it's not my type of film that I want to go out and see. Like I said, I thought this would be a romantic comedy, <laughs> but I was still treated to a good movie. It was a good it movie. It was entertaining. So I, I do, yeah, I'd give it a seven. And like I said, the drama and, and the how they handled it was believable. Yeah, well done. Well done. You know what? I'm going to change my number. So seven, seven, six and a half and a six. I think definitely if you have Prime Video, check it out. I'm hoping that more of the MGM stuff gets on prime now that it looks like amazon has acquired mgm so uh i'll look out for that hopefully some of the old mgm movies will also get on there mm -hmm. and uh but in the meantime definitely definitely do yourself a favor and go check out the idea of you currently streaming on amazon prime rated r with a runtime of one hour and I think it was like 57 minutes or something. Yeah, I think so too. It says 55 on IMDb, but I think it said 57 on that. I mean, I guess they took credits into account. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was fun. This is a long review. Wow. We, yeah. we talked about this movie a lot. All right. So with that, we are going to wrap it up and wish you all a... Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.